Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vidya and my channel name is Lavendies. Today's video is all about creating this cat eye makeup look which is so wearable for any kinds of office event or for even an outing with your friends. So if you wanted to know how I created this look, then continue watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon which is right next to the subscription button. So without further delay, let's get into the video. As a first step, I'm gonna start with my skincare. For that, I'm gonna be moisturizing my skin for which I'm going to be using Plum E Illuminizing Moisturizing Cream today. Also, I'm moisturizing my lip using this Goodbye Lip Balm. And for the primer today, I've chosen this uh, small primer. I'm not very sure about the name. I'll give the product details in the description box. This primer, I've got it from the Eperobia subscription box, which is superb duper because it gives you that smooth base for your foundation. And uh, I'm going to start with the color correction. For the color correction, I, I'm just having a little bit of dark circle under my eyes. For that, I'm going to use the orange corrector to cover that up. And I'm not using any brush as you know, usually I do blend the orange corrector with my finger and I use a small beauty blender or a sponge to remove is there any excess of product over on it. Next to cover the orange corrector, I'm gonna be using the concealer which is from the LA Girl. You can even also use a powder to cover the concealers, I mean the orange correctors so that will help you by not mixing the foundation with the orange corrector. So once I've applied the concealer, I am going to be using my beauty blender to spread that out because I'm not going to use a brush today. That will mix my orange corrector as well as the concealer. So to avoid that, I'm using a beauty blender. For the foundation today, I'm going to be using that uh, Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation because I will need that matte finish kind of a look today. So that for that, I've chosen this uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation especially those who are having oily skin you can definitely keep your hands on this and this is also coming in a small tube form so if you want it you can try and get this full size bottle and using a kabogi brush I'm gonna spread this product all over my face and also don't forget to apply this on your neck as well so don't use any product on your neck but whatever is left over on the brush that can be used for the neck this is not a full coverage foundation but this gives you that uh, 50 percentage of coverage and if you want it you can even build more by using some more product on it i'm going to be using a concealer to cover the dark circles and also give a highlight to my face for that i'm using this wet and wild concealer I'm mostly concentrating this concealer on the highest point of my face which is under my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead and cupids and also to the chin. So after applying the product, I'm using the same beauty blender to spread this out all over my face. I'm also going to contour my face today for that I'm using this NYB contour stick which is the perfect shade for me shade details will be given in the description box so I'm just gonna cut down the excess flesh from my skin for that I'm using this contour stick which is a super product for me so mostly I'm using this product I mean the contour stick on the sides of my face and also to the jawline and also to lightly sharpen my nose I'm just using the sides of my nose and using a beauty blender, I'm just spreading this out towards an upward motion, not to the downward motion. So to set my complete face as well as the under eyes, I'm going to be using this Take Wiki Translucent Powder, which is like a white powder. It will not give you any reflection. It's just going to be settled down on your skin and gives you the same finish. And also to set the complete face, I'm going to be using this Lacme Pancake. This is actually a pancake, but I'm using this as a compact powder today. Taking a small powder brush, I'm just spreading this product all over my face. And for the eyebrows today, I'm going to be trying this new Maybelline's uh, Dew Eyebrow Sharpener or something. So this is not a new product to the market, but it's new to me because I've recently bought this. And also for this, if you want to review about this product, I can just tell you this can be used for a daily purpose, but not for any occasional because it does not have that much of uh, 
uh, high coverage on it it just gives you that uh, seamless finish or subtle look if you don't want some highlighted eyebrows then you can definitely keep your hands on this and this also has a pencil one side as well as the powder on the other side which and let's move on to the eye shadow for the eye shadow today i'm going to be using this mask eye shadow palette so uh, my eyes uh, my eye need a concentration on the eyeliner not on the eye shadow so for that i'm just going to be keep it as simple as possible so i've chosen uh, a light pink shade from this uh, palette and i've applied all over my eyelids as, as well as to the transition area and then i'm just taking this la colors uh highlighting palette this palette has that uh, pink uh, eye shadow color which has a glitter on it so this will suit my outfit as well as the i look today for that i've chosen that and uh, i i'm just i've just applied that all over my eyelids and i'm just going to draw my eyeliner which is the hero of my today's look for the eyeliner today i've chosen uh, this music flower gel eyeliner which is my all time favorite product because this is like a multiple or oh, sorry multi purpose product which can be used for your eyebrows eyeliner and even as a kajal sometime so using this i'm going to be draw a wing liner i've already uploaded a detailed review about this music flower gel eyeliner in my channel if you want you can check it out i'll i will leave the link in the description box below and also i am using the same gel eyeliner as my kajal today to get that intense black uh, eye look i am just using a 9 to 5 lakme eyeliner in in the shade black for this look i don't want any uh, blush on my skin for that i am just using only the bronzer and this is from wet and wild and i know that you To highlight my face, I'm using this Wet n Wild highlighter, and uh, this is only for the to get that dark glow on my skin. And I'm just using this NY Bay Kajal to the upper waterline of my eyes. and to get that volume to my eyelashes i'm just using this lakme iconic kajal i'm using the same on my uh, lower uh, lash line as well to highlight my brow bone i'm just using the same highlighter and also to the inner corner of my eyes for the lip i wanted to make it as brown as possible so i'm just using a eye pencil from miss claire and a maybelline lipstick Also I'm using a setting spray to make sure my makeup doesn't move away and also stay for a longer time and this uh, setting spray is from Stay Quickie. With this the look is getting completed. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up to this video and if you have any comment about this video please share it in the below comment section. I will be seeing you all soon in my next upcoming video. Till then take care and bye.